when when I feel stressed out or when Hope notices that I'm feeling stressed out or she can tell it's starting to amp up just a little bit more, it we, we go back and we think about, okay, well, what what does this person need if it's her or if it's me, whatever, to re-energize? And that's mostly what it is. It's a release. You have to release that stress somehow. You have to re-energize yourself somehow. You've got to just woosah somehow. And you have to figure out, hey, I have to be mindful of when I'm getting to that level. Mm -hmm. And yo, for me, you leave me alone. Like, don't call me, don't text me, don't talk to me. Leave me alone for just a little bit. And I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. But I have to notice that I'm getting to that point. Right. If I don't notice I'm getting to that point and I'm just going out to work out just to work out, it does no good. Right. Like I have to realize this is why I, this is what I need right now. So just being mindful of that yeah. and recognizing that, you know, are you taking it out on your kids? Are you taking it out on your spouse? And just not recognizing that that is actually what is happening. And it's just the stress of you going back to work and having to get back into a routine that is causing that to happen. So I think that's so important, especially when we do come back off of break and we have spent beautiful time together yeah. and, you know, things are positive and happy. You want to keep that going as long as possible. Um, so that is number one. Number two, as we head back from break, be mindful of your message. And here's what I mean by that. And Listen, this right here is a space for you to feel all the things mm -hmm. and for us to be honest about how we feel with one another and for us to share that, yeah, I am like a sloth crawling out of bed the day before break. I mean, the day of, of going back to school after a break. But maybe social media where your kids or your parents who are, you know, have students in your class might see that that gif or that gif or that meme or whatever it is mm -hmm. and, and feel some type of way about it. You know, a lot of times after break, teachers are like, well, I'm going to feel the way that I feel. Yeah. And it's it's fine to, to feel those things. Right. Yeah. But we have to be careful of the message that we're pushing out, because if we are pushing out, you know, my favorite is that I don't know if y'all seen it. Surely you have that little girl on the merry-go-round coming, coming back. Like it says a lot of different things. But in this case, it would be coming back after break got me like and she's on like the carousel holding on and it's dragging mm, her mm -hmm. around. Have you seen you know what I'm talking about? No, I was just <laughs> pretending. <laughs> best y'all it is the I don't best know these out there please go find it but it's like coming back after break got me like and literally she's holding on for and it's just like dragging her okay what is i this get thing? it that is how we feel coming back after break but when we're posting that on social media where if you teach old enough students your students might see it mm -hmm. or where the parents of those students might see it can you imagine like i'm just being honest if that were maverick's teacher posting something like that i'd be like i get it but i don't because I don't want to send Maverick back to a classroom where Maverick might, you know, he's struggling going back after a break too. And now I'm kind of questioning, like, is that teacher going to be in a good mood? There it is. That's, there, that is funny. There it is. Yeah. We just good. pulled up on our phone. Um, is he going to be going back to a teacher that's going to be have you know be warm and and be excited to see him, or or is it going to be a teacher that's that's cold and in a bad mood all day long? Yeah, I mean, and that's going to make me worry. Mm -hmm, with I mean, with messaging, yes, it's it's. You need to be careful of that, obviously, with the for parents and for if you teach middle school and high school kids, they'll see it too. But then also, I mean, you have to think about other teachers who are out there as well. I mean, obviously, we all know what we're going through. Um, every teacher knows what another teacher is going through. It doesn't matter if you live in the same city, state, country, whatever. This is a weird year. But you don't need to really publicize all of that because that's just going to bring everybody down. 